Duke Energy announces major plans to retire its coal ash operation in Asheville, moving towards natural gas and solar power. Employees say that transition will take four to five years. News 13's Hope Hanselman is live at a news conference there in Hope. This is going to have a huge impact in Asheville. Yeah, not only for Duke Energy customers, but for everyone who even comes to visit the area, you'll see a huge impact starting with the smokestack here, which will be actually taken down. The plant will be reduced to just a fraction of its size. The plan is to retire the coal ash plants in four to five years and open in its place a $750 million natural gas plant. That new plant is expected to be running by 2019. The whole coal ash facility should be decommissioned by 2020. Duke Energy executives say ratepayers will see an increase on their bills when the natural gas takes effect, but they say rate impact will level off over time. The environmental impacts, though, have local officials excited. They say Asheville will see emissions reduced across the board. This is a big day for Western North Carolina and Buncombe County. This is the biggest environmental news I've had in about 20 years since I've been a commissioner. This is the Prius of energy. <laughs> And the second part of this announcement is the installation of solar panels. Executives say those will go in after the entire coal ash plant has been removed. That will be around 2020. Another significant impact we'll see will be right here on Lake Julian. The plant will no longer pump warm water into the lake, moving towards a healthier body of water. Coming up live at 1230, I'll explain what some employees around here are calling a very emotional day for them, what impact it will have on those workers. Reporting live in Arden, Hope Hanselman, News 13.